Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to Snowtown part 9 here in City Skylines 2. Yes, so as you can see we have uh, fall coming in, it's like uh, getting winter soon, probably will snow soon, so uh, yes I'm looking forward uh, to this nice white environment again. Okay, so in the last episode, um, I'm a little bit uh, scratching the back of my head because I have fulfilled like the demand of like low residential area, and still this bar is hugely, you know, to the max, and I have no idea why that's the case. So I thought to myself, maybe ignore it for a moment and do something else, and that is exactly what I'm going to do because, as you can see, over here. And over here, I, pl I opened up some land because in between episodes, I reached the city of, um, what was it? Grand Village, I think. Milestones, no, where is that? Small City, yeah, I reached Small City. So I also have uh, a lot of options, by the way. I have 16 points to unlock all kinds of things, which I will do. And... Uh, yeah, and the idea is actually to make use of the ground resources. Now, we know that these tiles do not necessarily need to be connected to these tiles. Now, if we tap like the ground resources button, uh, which is, let me check, it is like natural resources. As you can see, there's a huge swap of like coal and ore lying around here. So as you can see, ore deposit, oil deposits, Oil deposits are more like, you know, a brownish color and ore deposits are like, yeah, the, the bluish color. So I think they are, I think they are roughly at the same area because when you look for, uh, no, oil is actually this stuff. Yeah, this is oil, this is ore, but between ore and coal, I think coal and ore is get is being uh, taken from the same spot so i wanted to extract some ore from this place now i dug out a little bit of this terrain because this terrain was insanely hilly and i thought to myself i can never build on that so that would be like very awkward so let's try to figure this out how we are going to do it uh, first of all we need a road so let's click this away let's click that away and what kind of road are we going to place here? Now, we have some space here, so let's pause the game. Bulldoze this away. Let's see if we can actually insert an existing junction. We also have to remove this train line. So we have a little bit of space here to work with, and also that one. Yeah, and let's see what we have. Because these things, uh, intersections, these things are pretty large uh, in general. So what kind of do we want to use? This one? Yeah, it's a pretty large one. How about this one? Very, very, very large. But at the same time... It would fit. Yeah, it would fit. And it would pave the way to the other parts of the the map but it's a very big thing you know um, other options are this one but I think I don't know you know regarding traffic although you know I think maybe traffic is not such an issue here because this is only you know this will only be an ore area so I think this would be the right choice so let's take just this one let's see if we can we can hook that on like that not bad not bad at all okay let's grab the highway the highway the two laner this one and let's see how we can connect this up in a decent manner let's first bulldoze that part away this part just like that and we take this thing the bending option and then from here we bring this a little bit further like that and from here we could hook it up to there yeah and then from here I will do roughly the same connect it up to there and then here we are going to make the bend towards there 
yeah i can live with that and regarding those trains uh train lines now i have to look uh train train so that's a subway trams trains and what kind of track is this is this a double track yeah it's a double track so in essence we can take this and we can make it go underground if we want to like that first like that and this is like 106 meters maybe a little bit further 130 and this is like minus yeah minus 20 like that and then we just bring it over to in sort of an alignment with the line over there and then here another 130 meter roughly and then we bring it to topsoil and we connect this up again like that is that okay is that doable let's press play right so we have like now yeah i think <coughs> we have a workable situation uh so let's see we have like a um an asymmetrical road here now i have to look where are the natural resources okay the natural resources um they are uh how do i find that again let me check it out here okay so here we have the whole stuff let's say we have here the point of this um the, the area of our area so that's like a point down there there and there okay um can i make a zone area maybe i make a just a road completely around it i think that would work best yes so in order to do so we are taking shall we take this road this asymmetrical road or not why is this even an asymmetrical road can it just not be like a four lane road just like this we are going to replace yeah i think that works fine and then just bring it out to wherever the uh, the ground resources or uh, resources are now is it possible to do this when the resources are in sight oh yeah oh yeah they are that's nice so from here we bring this over to there and then from here we bend it around like that and then from here oh, here to there I cannot even see what is happening to these roads but hey ho hey ho we make a make a lovely bend over here 96 by 96 yes and actually we need to be a little bit closer to the mm -hmm, like so like so I want to follow the contours of the of this ground resources so we can make the best of it i mean yeah what else to do you know here we go yeah and then from there to there and there to there and that went a little bit quick but you know it's okay because we're going to connect it up to there right so let's delete this part and let's see how this looks so what is going on here ah uh, okay so this carved a little bit into the landscape well you know it's fine you know it just goes around and maybe we can do something here that makes the traffic go better now i would say like okay we click the road options over here and we have some options for example we can turn off any traffic light bush and we can use these things to avoid left turns so let's say if i click this button and i say no left turn then everybody has to take a right turn yeah so they will all have to drive that way around and whether if that's a good thing or not it's it's up for debate because the building that i'm planning to build you know the main building will be 
somewhere here inside but you know it's okay because we can utilize just a, a normal road for that and we bring it up like so yeah that's it and then we are going to um, put like an oil building there now I wonder should I make one or two or three maybe let's just see one there and maybe one in this corner yeah okay we are going to do the let's see the zoning area this area and then we are going to yeah to the oil drilling part ah okay so that's nice so we have like a building there okay it wants now me to make um, this thing you know how I love this stuff <laughs> so we first we make this relatively small yeah like that and now did this building disappear again like it did in the previous episodes or not I'm not playing in pause mode I think the building disappeared again <laughs> here I go again oh my gosh okay let's try this again this building I have to be careful how I place it production deficit resource not available wait 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 this is this is not oil this is ore oh my life I'm such a dumbass this is ore okay that's um, ore mining resource available okay very good okay so you go there and then let's say from there to there to there we do the little thingies later there there complete area yeah and then we select the ore mining building again we're going to the other side and we place that building over here so you go there hmm. no not like that like oh no do we need to go first that way apparently maybe even that way I don't know well let's just figure something out we can always add a few uh, options more I know that these things do require a lot of space so yeah it makes kind of sense so let's first finalize the area wash over there oh look look at that that's nice okay and the last one we put over here which disappears directly on side that means like oh yeah I see already what the problem is <laughs> that's not working okay fair enough also I think this road can be over there instead of there so you will go away and then we are going to the zoning tool like this and we place this building over here and let's see what we can make of that from there to there there and then complete area great so we have now divided this whole place up into three areas but I know we can make it better you know with the zoning stuff for example we are going to take this this thing over here we turn off all the, those snappings so you can just follow it you can just follow the road nicely of course it's like a bendy road a little bit so it will be a little bit difficult to make the perfect uh, connection to the road you will always have those little bends you know going on but nothing to do about that come on you can do it you can do it hey you don't want okay then we go to this place and we oh come on yeah yeah come on you can go to the corner and also you can go to the corner and let's also speed up the gameplay I want to see something changing over here because this has been a while you know in uh, in my city and I find it a little bit yeah weird to be honest 
Okay, let's drag this down. And let's see, what is the best course of action we can take from here to there? Now, I don't know what to do with this little area. I think I put like another one of these. Like so, and then another one, so we have a marker. So I can go all the way down there. Here we can go, oop, not like that, so we need another one, another nose, basically, and then go into that direction. And then from here, go there, and from there go nearly there, from there to there, and there, and there, and there, you know, and you keep on busy with this this stuff you uh, how do you monkey around uh, you know a bendy road like that I think the best thing is just to make like you know a straight bit like this you know just two straight bits that come together like that and that and it's a little bit of finagling but eventually you know you will get the hang of it and actually it's quite fun to do it's uh yeah nice 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 now give me a moment guys to uh, work this out i will be right back in a second right so that looks already a little bit better i think that also these guys do require water um i'm thinking about um getting like a water tower or there is some water available here you know actually uh, I don't know what this is, uh, but we will, you know, we will dig out a little bit for some, whoa, this is the wrong button, <laughs> we will dig out for some water, because, you know, we have some water available here, so why not use it, so, I don't know what's wrong with the game here, it seems like glitching a little bit, let's see, what can we do, is that a flooding? Okay, that's kind of a, a little bit of an odd one. Okay, so we create like a nice basin here, which we cannot connect to the main water over here. That's that's a pity. <laughs> okay, let's also smoothen the land. Mm, slightly like that. Yep. The water physics in city skylines are still a little bit, you know, I don't know, tricky at best. So it feels like a little bit the water is not really knowing what it wants, but let's uh, forget about that. Let's just, uh, let's see, sewage outlet pipe, a pumping station. Yeah, we need one of those. And those need to be connected also with the sewage at the same time, I think, or only with the water pipe no i think only the water pipe yep we connect that up with where's that thing over there here we go so i also believe that this thing needs power um yeah it needs power so this is pretty far away and power is ooh that is actually I cannot import power, so I have to create power myself over here. Okay, creating power. What are we going to use? An emergency a geothermic power plant cost like a dime, or just a wind turbine? Electricity wind speed too low. It seems like on this map the wind speed is everywhere too low. But I just wonder what would happen if we just place a few of these things over here anyway. You know, just away. Just like there. There. Oh, can we place the one there? There. And there. Because I don't think that these guys need too much of, uh, you know, uh, power at, at, in total. So we put like a transformer station over there. And now's the question. How are we going to hook these up? Are we hooking these up? These cables for transfer low voltage between locations. Okay. Um, the question is, are we going underground with this stuff or not? 
I think so, yes. From there to there. I don't think that the uh, this thing is even required. It's only required for, I think, the bigger stations, I think. Um, Yep, like that, and this one will run all the way to that one. Yeah, so we have like uh, a gazillion amount of uh, demand for people, but you know, they have to wait. Now we also are going to create a little bit of parking over here. People can park their cars. I mean, it's like an industrial area, and if you drive to this area, you want to park your cars, obviously. Let's say over here, nice close by to that area, and here, nice and close by to that area. Now, since this is like an isolated area, we do need some uh, basic issues, like a firehouse. Yeah, we still need those. And some police station, little police station. Well, not that little, but it is. It is a police station, and yeah, basically that's it. Um, I have no idea what are these guys complaining about. It's like back to oh sewer. You know what sewer? I was been thinking. Pause the game for a moment. Sewage, advanced water pumping station. Wastewater treatment plant. Okay, let's find that in here. I think it must be here under water somewhere. Wait, yeah, water treatment plant. Only two. So I'm unlocking that. And we don't have to deal with, you know, with the problems with sewage anymore. So we are getting this one. And then we are taking the wastewater sewage plant. And that thing can be... Well, we can just place it nicely over here. Directly at the... You know, at the junction, play, press play again, and that will solve these guys' problems so far. Yeah. So, actually, I wonder how much noise are these guys producing. So, let me have a look. Noise pollution. So, on the north side, we don't have that much noise. These wind turbines make a lot of noise. These these things make a lot of noise. And is this thing complaining? Oh, this thing has no power. It has no power. No power? How do I... How does it get power? Uh, using this? No. This? Oh, it's like... Wait a sec, we need to be... Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second, how does that thing get... Oh, that thing needs a road. Yes, that's the thing. I nearly forgot. It's like a little bit... Sometimes it can be a little bit annoying if, though, if, if items need roads, you know, in order to get power. But hey-ho, hey-ho, it is what it is. But I will supply these guys with... Power. Fixed. I think so. We still have this little pond over here, but they can do. They're still complaining about something. Lack of high skill labor. High skill labor. Well, that will come. You know, we have a university in the city. But I'm slightly wondering if we can get more peeps in over here on this side. Yeah. So, let's grab the uh, four lane and then let's replace this road and also it changed you know a little bit of the whole yeah hmm the whole layout of this whole thing well it is what it is uh, I, I guess anyway Let's uh, continue this road like so and then let's grab this thing and make a little bit of like an urbanized area and we grab the grid tool and we're going to make like a little gridded area over here and we already have like 
Already is that possible somehow here for some weird reason? I don't know why, but what's the reason? It's it does not want. <laughs> How nice to have like a grid tool that does not work. Okay, then we do it like this way, and now it's touching. <laughs> it's touching the highway. <laughs> Oh, wait a second, I'm also thinking, because I usually make like these 4x3s, that means like, actually, that what I want to do is 4x3, it's like, I need to make gaps of like 8 to make optimal uh, opportunity of the space, so how do I get like an 8, so this is, this is 6 blocks, what I need is like 8 blocks, so is that, let me see, so that would then be... Yeah, that would be then something like that. And then we continue this there. We do here the same thing. Um, eight blocks, so this is six. So we add another. Yep. Very nice living. Oh, that, that tra train line is on the ground, so that's no problem. Here we keep a little bit of distance between the houses and the train line. Just for the sake of it, to keep to let them happy to, you know, that they stay happy and here it's a little bit of um, let's see no 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 not like that again no nope. yeah like that so maybe we can also fulfill a little bit more of the uh, low residential demand and we are going to still apply the the, let's say the Biffa method. I call it the Biffa method. Whether it's working, I don't know. So let's just see. Uh, we have like let's okay. Let's connect these two roads up. That is fine. And then we also have the other side. Now these are all connected already with pipes, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to put like these and then European uh, yeah styled road. So we take this option. While the game is running, it will be like bush, bash, bish, and bosh. And I did not think about the length, sadly enough. Okay, one, two, three. We can still do that in another way. Because we can also do it like this. You there, you there. You there, you there, you there, and you there. Don't know what I'm seeing here exactly. Lack of power somehow. Power and water. So are those not connected through here? Let me check it out. Those are not. Okay. So they, we need all the connections. Let me grab this water pipe. And that goes to what the monkey? Okay, I will just make it happen. Can you connect to there, please? Okay, then you connect to there. Whatever, whatever. Then the switch. The switch we take from also from here. You know, I've just connected straight up to to there. Overlapping items. Page down. No. No, I wonder what is the what is the problem here, yeah? I want to connect it up to that to that to that node. Well, you tell me. Uh, it's like very weird. Okay, how about going from here? Or was this the thing? Was this the thing? Man. Uh, don't ask me how or why or. <laughs> it is working. Okay, power related. Let's see. Uh, power lines are running from there to there, but not here. 
so let me grab this and probably we can no of course we cannot connect it okay then i will go through another direction and also i need to be underground as well works a lot better connecting it up to there so yeah we only have these three wind turbines but hopefully that will be enough and also let's start directly with the education so these guys will immediately get like an elementary school and oh high school is pretty big can we fit that or snug that in here no we cannot so we put it like we put it on this side okay now let's do something about that residential demand it's driving me nuts you know in all the, all the recent times okay uh one two three no one no yep there there okay i will speed up this process otherwise it will take ages Look at that guys look at that winter wonderland has returned look at that it's snowing everything is everything is white except the roads i wonder why you know i really wonder why they did not also use the snow dump uh, option from city skylines one it was like i mean it was like an interesting thing But uh, yeah, they, they, they never uh, really applied it here. And this thing is not, <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with this game. It's like, this thing is not wanting to go down. I think if I even zone the entire map with low residential people, I don't know. Demand. So let me, let me have a look. Low residential demand. Has it anything to do with the the e economics so taxation is like pretty high for residential now what if we put a little bit of less tax on the highly educated because these these guys need to be um, I I don't know how this relates to you know how educational levels will um, hint towards you know what kind of residential type of building one one is living in because you can still have like a low income but you can still live in like a in a big apart big apartment so I don't know it's like that was my chair by the way but let's do a little bit of something drastic we are going to reduce this to 15 we're going to reduce this to 18, this one to 21, this one to 22, and then the, this one we increase it even to 30. Now, if that helps, I don't know. We will see. Uh, services, industrial, office. We, we barely have any of those demands. So, offices, we will do like 10%. Industrial demand, and we put those also a little bit lower and also services roads budget oh we can also make that a little bit lower 50 percent that's fine whoa is that a difference of like whoa 192 it's quite a lot hmm. production okay i don't want to look at it at this right now because we were busy building this so these guys are still complaining we also have like warehouses in, in the game. Warehouses are located. Um, oh, blimey. Where is that find it mod if you need it? <laughs> warehouses. Where did they stuck the warehouses again? Um,
Okay guys, it's <laughs> it's like weird, but I've been going through every of these menus, but I cannot find the warehouses. I must be I must be blind somehow. I don't know why. It's like a uh, it's very weird. Now we also have like a train line running here and you might think about, you know, using that for export abilities maybe. I don't know. Just a thought. Uh, let's see um, Transportation Maybe I will find a warehouse later um, A tram A train Train and we need a cargo Train terminal Which is this one And that's pointing only one direction So it would actually You know it would not be a bad place To put it here A little bit back like that yeah, let's just the overlapping items. Oh, really? Oh, that. Hmm? What is that? Oh, that's the parking lot. Hmm. Which can move. We can move that slightly over there. And then we take the cargo train terminal again. And then we can push it right over there. You know? And actually, it should not be too difficult to hook this up to this train line, I guess. I hope. It might. So this is a single track. Okay. So let's go into there. Mm, the single tracks are over here. So one leads to that direction. The other one leads to that direction. Okay. So let's see how we are going to finagle this end. First we turn the snap. So no, the snap on. Something like. Let's first do something about the elevation. No, 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 not like that. I mean the elevation step. Let's see how far we can bring this down. You know, if it's in any way reasonable to assume this is possible, because it's very close by to the highway. Let's see, we take the bend option and then can we make a bend? We can make a bend like that. That's okay. That's a good good thing. Because that means like that we can go down here. How far? Minus 12, minus 15, minus, minus 20. Well that works out fine. We can just make a lovely where is that station? It's all the way over there. I'm gonna bring it all the way like like this, yeah. And then from here, can I just page it up to zero again, like that? And this is like a little bit of an awkward bend, yeah. It's not the perfect bend, if you ask me. How's this? So that is like... That is like... I don't know what to say about that, but... We can always fix it, you know, in the future. I mean... It's not... Um, you know, perfect yet. And from here... Let's turn this off. Like that. And from here we bring it on the ground. Like, I don't know, minus 12. Like that, and then we bring it. Ooh, it does not want to go under there. Ah, okay. That's because that, ah, yeah, okay, I see the problem. I see the issue, I see the issue, okay. Okay, okay, so we need to delete this part and we need to make that curve a little bit earlier, I guess. So let's page this up again. And then we go down, slope to tight, curve to tight, slope to steep. Anything more to complain? So what is overlapping here? I mean, I'm going on the ground. 
Yeah, that's better. It's okay. Minus twenty. Thank you. Yeah. And then this we need to bring all the way to there. And then it has to go under the highway like that. And then from here we bend it around and then we bring it also up slightly to minus 10. And then from minus 10 we go to zero. And from there it's just a matter of hooking it onto the existing network and it is connected. Yes, that is connected. That is looking very neat. Oh, like that. This place could definitely use a few trees. I'm not so happy with the way how this is sort of falling into the ground, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's normal. But trains can now export. Yeah. I still wonder where, where I can find a freaking warehouse. <laughs> It's a, it's like insane because I feel like you know we need warehouses. It's like, yeah. Hmm. So these guys go in there. They drive in there. Some deliver here. Come back and. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this is also an exit part over here. Yeah big if you know let's test something out so let's grab the road a road a road and let's carry this on until there and then here to can this be straight oh man look at this this wiggle Yeah, so here's a complaint about something. Is it about electric cable is not connected? Okay, which cable? To what? Uh, let me have a look. It's not connected to. It's coming from from that wind turbine over there. Yeah, because I monkeyed around a little bit with the road. It's the most likely scenario so let me delete then come on yeah let me delete you and then we will replace it with a local line that just goes there and now it's connected yes so does this do any issues now I can say here to these guys you know using the, the available road tools like do not a left turn only go straight on yeah and they actually come out from here so that's kind of interesting very interesting also delete those traffic lights because those are really not necessary no traffic lights here that's okay that's great about here they are here yeah we remove those this is like a little bit of an yeah mountainous area and here we also have like traffic lights and that sort of is it yes now in principle I can also make a, a railway station for people you know to come actually here over the same train line but I have no idea if I even had like a you know a, a regular train line in the city yet I, I even wonder I don't think so I to be honest I have my doubt and uh, this is still ridiculous it's still you see that it's still going up 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 it's like this whole diagram is not changing so students okay what does this say actually over here they, there are some there are some issues 
So office demands require more high skilled labor. Taxes are too high, labor availability. These complain about taxes. So high density. Availability of jobs. Happiness. Could it be that? Hmm. I think I need to invest more in schools. So we get our. Let's have a quick look at our education system. So, high school, we are pretty much in the plus. So, that's not really an, a problem. But still, half of our population is poorly educated. Oh, that's weird. So we do have, let's see, we do have an, a university which sits over here. So do you have any issues or something or are you just chock a block? Are you like, you only have 62 students, huh? I don't understand any of this. Why do we only have like so little students while there is so much demand for Highly trained laborers. That is very odd. Is it has it something to do with reachability? I mean, there is a metro running there, even stopping there, so people can just hop out of this metro and just walk towards the this building. Or, what is also a possibility, let me check it out. I mean, before going to university. Oh, I have a sneaky feeling, maybe. If I look at the eligible numbers, then I noticed that Map Legend schools. I think, I think we have just a lack of elementary schools and then elementary, although the capacity is pretty high, but hmm, hmm, that's very weird. Let me see, where are those things anyway? All three of them are there and none of them are here. Oh, there are also a few here. Ah, okay. But none of them are here. That's, that's a very bad thing. So, let's see if we can just point one here. I don't know what is that thing under there. Oh, that's the metro. Okay, so we put one there. We are going to place a lot more of elementary schools around. Uh, we have already a few of those there. Uh, we're going to sneak in. Uh, where do we have some space? Here we have some space. Yep, this area already has three of them, but you know what, I'm going to give them just another one. Yeah, just because these people, you know, they really love the city so much, so they get more schools. And in this region, there are people living here as well, so is there space for... Yep, and all that. Uh, another elementary school look at the capacity it's completely off the chart how many of of the high schools are there high schools hmm, i wonder i wonder if they even make a difference between the two of them so these are like okay yeah these things are pretty big as well hmm mm hmm well, we can place one over here. Uh, but those things are also pretty noisy at the same time. Which is nasty. Um, let's have a look here. You know, let's have a look what we can do about that. So we are grabbing this road. Turn all this stuff on again. Bring it up to uh, there. Then we take a road like uh, this. Ooh, wait a second, we can actually... Yeah, we can utilize that. Why not? Why not? Here we go. And then if I take make like a si nice lovely side road here, then we have like more room for, you know, a high school. 
like that and then you uh, college uh, we have like the university over there and then college at the same time we really want to make our you know people smarter because I think we are in lack of uh, some, you know more educated people so I think this will definitely boost the whole thing a little bit anyway parking lots one there one there one there one there one there yeah they never get sick and tired of those <laughs> the parking lots yeah so what is with this road I don't know let me delete this one then quickly like that okay so yeah they're still complaining about about either high no lack of labor the company cannot find employees company lack of high skilled labor lack of labor this bar has de decreased a little bit is it is it maybe still that I just need like a, a whole gazillion of, of, of more low residential areas it seems like in inevitable and uh, oh, you can definitely see it's getting cold and um, these are also lack of labor I mean this is kind of weird because we have like all these people living by here uh, on the uh, on the edge so let's also give them a medical clinic make them happy and also dog park where's a dog park a dog park that makes them happy a little bit of a uh, yeah having fun around here and there left and right and I think a fire station we don't have anyone I thought I placed one here somewhere or not well if not then I will place it directly over here so it can cover this entire region where is this a fireplace no wait a second this is a medical clinic and this is a medical clinic and <laughs> this is a medical clinic yeah that's not the most smart thing to do okay move this thing away I needed a fire station I thought I placed one yeah there is one but I'm going to place another one over here just for the sake of it yeah well I think um, I so far I'm not 100% sure what my deduction is about you know regarding the insanely high uh, demand for low residential um, zones I mean I put like a lot of them here and in the previous episode I built a lot of them here look it's all low residential stuff and it, it makes me wonder yeah it really makes me wonder also last thing that I want to do I think uh, we can also unlock the city hall if I'm not mistaken city hall where are you city hall is a center different rent local government Bergman bloody bloody blah yeah okay so unlock okay so we have that uh, question is where is that thing located here we go again <laughs> how can I there's no find option right I mean the city hall where would you find it it's a sort of a it's a service right death care no uh, what's this building recycling center no technical university okay fire and rescue disaster control is not under here I think yeah here we have it I think welfare office ah welfare office and the city hall I think the welfare office we is that building so big 
Really? No wonder people cannot afford uh, living here because, you know, those buildings are way too big. Who comes up with those ideas? Uh, I think we can snug it in here. No, we cannot. Aha! Uh -huh. About here. Hmm. Hmm? I think maybe we can do it here. Yeah. And then the city hall, I think uh, that's a fairly large building. And you can definitely see, you know, that the skyscrapers are still a little bit missing over here, here in their left and right. Can I sort of squeeze this building? Not in there. Because why? Oh, there's a metro station. Oh darn it, uh, that means like that maybe I can do it by making an extra road from here then to there and then find the city hall again wherever I put it here and then put it on top of here and does it fit? Oh you gotta be kidding me, just because of this, this road? What's this? It's a radio mast. Oh, we can put that somewhere else. Like that. We go to the city hall again because I want to place the darn thing. Here we have a sit here we have it. And then we grabbing this thing again, this road, putting it all the way to there. And then we grab the radio mast and we will remove that thing to there. Problem solved. So we have now a city hall. All nice and well, great, love it. People from the metro can actually go there. I mean, that's even better. And uh, let me also quickly remove those nasty traffic lights. Traffic lights. Yeah, yeah I think uh, I will leave it at that and we will continue, of course, in part 10. I am going to do a little bit of online research regarding this amount of demand, asking on Facebook and maybe on the Steam Workshop what might be the cause of it, because it seems like endless, you know, this demand. And maybe, maybe it's also this is the cause, I don't know, because this is like all, you know, farm area and whatnot and they require a lot of... Uh, low labor stuff and maybe that's the reason why this demand stays high and that's just a theory you know that's on my mind but anyway guys and girls if you still like this you know if you still like the uh, the snow town and you know it's really looking like a snow town right now then uh, hit the like and subscribe and bell icon that you just saw to the right corner and you will be notified until the next episode comes out well, okay guys and girls, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. See you. Bye bye.